Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for Nintendo Switch. We're continuing our walk through the game, so thank you guys so much for coming. And we are just about to enter chapter 3, which is pretty great. I hear there's like 10 chapters in the game, so what, like 13, 14 episodes? Pretty awesome, right? Let's jump in and see what's going on. That last battle against um, Brigid, Brigid and her blade... Driver, <laughs> it was crazy. It's good though. It's good. What do you think's going on over there? Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormot. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormot itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain... shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. Hmm. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. Jin, man. Oh, dude, Jin. Jin's not even a driver. Like, he doesn't have a blade, so what's the deal? The only blade that he has is that gigantic, like, ten-foot-long sword in the back. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait what to fight that guy. What is that? A Cloud Sea compass. A must-have for salvagers. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this... What's the date today? Um... A map October 5th, 4058. Okay, so now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now. All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon. He called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what! Sure, it's worth a shot. 
Let's get going. Hey, Tora, the place where this Uman guy lives isn't affected by the Cloud Sea tides, is it? Uh, why, Rex Rex ask? Well, I noticed the Cloud Sea's been pretty low ever since we went off to save Nia. It's still low, right? I was worried, I was worrying that depending on the situation, we might be forced to find a different route. Rex has point, the Cloud Sea uh, tides are marked with the effect of areas as you traverse. Sometimes the Cloud Sea may allow you to swim to places that were once out of reach. But equally, it can submerge previously unreachable areas, halting your progress. Exactly. So I was wondering whether you need to worry about any of that, uh, where we're going now. Oh, that makes sense. But it's no problem. Pat the shipyard of Uman, not affected by Cloud Sea at all. Good to know. If it was somewhere we can only reach at high tide, we would have to rest up somewhere until the clouds rise. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Frankly, I'd welcome a well-earned rest at an inn while we wait for the tide to change. No offense, Rex, but your helmet isn't always the most comfortable abode. Yeah, yeah, you can always have a stretch and lie down next time we visit the Inn of Torgoth. For now, though, we go to the shipyard of Uman. Okay. Now that you have the option, and now that you have the option to take a long rest at lodging facilities, that lets you rest until the tides of Cloud Sea have shifted. If you ever find that your way is blocked due to the shifting tides of Cloud Sea, then go back and have a long rest, whether you're tired or not. Since the tides of the Cloud Sea change every time you have a long rest, it's wise to check the Cloud Sea status and environmental uh, information first. Bear in mind that it's not possible to take a long rest at every single lodging facility at all rest. But you certainly can do the one in Torgoth, which is just as well because Torgoth is sensitive to the comings and goings of the Cloud Sea. Okay, where the heck am I? We are in Naklia Woods. Where the heck is that? 900... Okay, you know what? I need to go back. I need to go rest, actually, because we have not... <laughs> we have not found the Torgoth Inn at all. So, Gormont Province, we're gonna go uh, Torgoth. We can go right in the archway. The Abbey Fountain? Yeah, yeah. So, there should be... There should be an inn nearby. Let's go take a look at the Abbey Fountain. Okay, so one- oh, there we go, the little bed icon, there we go, we got it, we got it. Okay, so we're gonna take a uh, short rest, I guess, I don't know, 180 bucks. We can all level up, choose a character to level up, yeah, I need to level up, oh, we're gonna level up you, 15 to 16. How much, oh, how much experience do we have? Oh, sorry, sorry. 4,935. So Nia's level 14? Yeah, we'll do it. Here, you can go to 16. Wait, no, you're 14 now. You can go to 15. See, Grumps, it's getting better. All right, you're gonna go to 15. Strong now. And you're gonna go to 15. Just to get everyone like the same way, we're gonna level up all these guys. 16, sure. And then Rex gets the short end of the stick. Oh no, I don't. I'm good. Yeah, feeling stronger than before. We got more bonus XP. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's go Rex, because we're gonna be we're gonna be controlling Rex for majority of the time. So. Alright, that's great. Uh, remaining XP, you can get to 17 with their remainings? Alright. And you can too? Like, what's the deal? Oh, everyone has their own XP. Is that kind of what's happening here? I'm still getting stronger. I thought everyone shares the same pool. So, I'm yeah, alright. At least, it, didn't it look that way? I don't know. We're done leveling up. But well, that's great. We went from 14 to 17 just for sleeping. And we've been we've been holding on to that bonus experience for the longest time. So, here we go. Hey guys, uh, why don't we go check out the Forgotten Waste? Sounds great. Why exactly? I mean, I don't know if there's anything there exactly. Let's just go see what it's like. What? You don't want to go? You think I know where that's at? <laughs> this game's huge. Forgotten waste. All right, Is sure. Okay? Uh, let me see. Change camera distance. All right, I don't need that. I need to go a little bit closer. 
to where we are at. So this is the Titan Battleship. No, we weren't trying to go to the Titan Battleship. We were going to go to Torgoth. Ark. No, this is like all... I think it's called the upper, upper level. Traveler's Resting Tree. Yeah, that's where we were. That's cool. Yeah, I do like the fact that the game is huge, right? It's so open world, but yet you can still warp to places where you need to go. That's awesome. Let's continue on. Okay. So we should be good. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily want to just beat up monsters because there's really no point in doing that. Uh, so we're not going to. There's a gigantic wall in the way here. So we have to find a quick way around it. While maintaining our forward momentum. Level 16 bear. Uh, monkey. I think we can take him. Let's go. <laughs> Nose Gogol. Oh, big backslash. You saw that, right? Awesome. What? That's not strong. still alive oh there's a double <laughs> you think I got time for fighting these two monkeys where did you get two monkeys from one two and three boom two thousand three hundred Oh, how did I miss that? That's pretty upsetting. One, two, three, spin, boom, super effective damage. Or just proper alignment damage. One, two, three, and stab for a, what? How did I do not that much? One, two, nice, big damage. What do we do? What, why did they ask me to do that? <laughs> okay, so we did something awesome, such as beating up that giant monkey. Okay, so I beat up a giant monkey, or two of them. That was pretty great. I don't necessarily want to fight monkeys the entire time. I, whoa, hold on, hold on. How do I change the camera out? Change distance, uh, L and then this thing. Wait, what? Uh, return camera to center, L, oh, L, I'm pressing R. That's silly, haha. -ha. Dude, that's crazy. You can you can probably jump all the way down there. I'm not about to try it, but you probably could. 
And no, oh, no, I don't want to fight three monkeys. Good. Come on, drill mark. Whoa! <laughs> he just jumped off. Where did you go? All right, well, hopefully he'll just spawn right behind me. Okay, good. She's like, hey, are we going over here? All right, sounds good. What the heck? Ouch. Oh, you took some hit too? Boom! 710. I could KO myself from falling. Alright, well. We're on the path. Let's do this. We're almost there, right? 600 more meters or whatever. <laughs> whatever that is. I'm gonna go this way, though. Yeah! Nice treasure trove. It's a silver one, too. That's good stuff. Lots of money. You got a common core crystal. Great. That's a long way down. I don't think I can survive that. Oh, but is that water? Yeah, you know what? Let's go! YOLO, jump into the water! Boom! Nice. <laughs> oh, level 40. No, thank you. No, thanks. Level 40 chickens. Oh, dang it. Was I not supposed to do that? Oh, level 37, dude? The way I'm supposed to go is obviously not the way that I was going. That's unfortunate. Uh, why don't we do this? I'm going to go be Dromark for a little bit. Uh, characters, we're going to change order. Because Dromark has the ability to uh, use botany. And you can get double your uh, rewards from here. Leave it to me. Okay, maybe you didn't. Well, it looks like maybe I wasn't supposed to jump down. You got some level 30 creatures over here. Looks like I'll make my way back up. I don't know if Dromark's going as fast as me running. Holy heck. No thanks. Uh -oh. oh, come on. Go away! 2,000! One hit KO! Oh my gosh, I'm... I should not have jumped off. Because I need to go that way. No thank you! Oh, is that a Tyrannosaurus? Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. I'm not about to find out what that is, sorry. I'm totally going the wrong way, because I jumped the heck off. <laughs> Joe Mark, you can't even jump! You lying? What? Oh, here you go, Joe Mark. Good job. Like, where are we going? We're just wandering aimlessly. Let's figure this out. I'm going away from where I need to be, according to those numbers, and I need to be lower. So I guess I'll go around this big gigantic tree. This is an area where I excel. Don't fight these crabs. They're level 40, they will shut you down. This looks fairly familiar. I don't know. No, it doesn't. This is an area where I excel. Well, at least we're finding treasure. And I don't mind exploring. It just shows the the beauty of this game, right? That's what we're trying to do right now. 
No, but I want to get to the next spot. So I'm going to warp back to where I was. We're going to quick travel there, and I'm done wasting time. Okay, Gormont Province. We're going uh, upper level. Uh, this was the Traveler's Arresting Tree. Uh, wh where am I even trying to go? All right. No jumping off. I'm going in the direction of where the game wants me to. That's where I'm going, okay? The game wants me to go this way, and I need to go down. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. I was over here. Wasn't I? Oh, come on. Boom, one hit KO. That's frustrating. <laughs> Where's my escape? Where's my polka doll? Where's my, like, escape button? I guess if they see you, then it's over, so... Like, I want to find out where the map is. Like, so I know where I'm going. That's kind of one of the things that, like, from someone who's never played this game, I don't know where we're heading to. Let's just keep going. When did it get so late? Oh my gosh. And I've started That's the Tyrannosaurus, dude. That's I'm insane. I don't want to mess around with that. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got eight minutes to figure this out. Let's go, Abdallah. No time for exploration. I just need to go diagonally this way. We're gonna go up on this tree branch like we did before. We were doing well, and then I decided to jump off because I thought that was what we needed to do. Okay, 15 monkey. No, not worth it. Don't look at me, king monkey. We're gonna go behind you so you don't see us. Oh my gosh. We are gonna be in a world of hurt if any of those monkeys, like, start attacking us. Okay, here we go. We got it. We're on the right track now. That took a little bit. But it's cool, though. You know what? We find out what else is over here. We found some uh, monies. We jumped off, landed in the water. Great Spine Boundary. What level are those guys? 13? 11? Yeah, this is good. See? We're going the right way because all the levels correspond with where we're kind of at. Melnath Shoulder. Oh, there's a little digging spot. I saw that from a mile away. Give me that. Why is this a different color? Hmm. Leave it to me. There we go, finally using that big botany. Double the rewards, yes! Okay, was there anything else I need to look at? What is this? Oh, why is it yellow? Or like golden? What are these? Oh, they're people? Oh, that's a, yeah! Oh, okay, never mind, um, I guess. Wow, okay, I didn't realize that we were going to fight fellow uh, drivers and blades. against electricity. What about this guy? 
It's because we against the wind. I don't have any of that. I mean, I guess. guys are pretty hard. Okay, that guy finally uh, went away. I don't like that pushback though, that's pretty crazy. There we go, getting some big Gemini loot. Oh my gosh, we need this. We need this healing halo. There's a lot of people here. Why are we in this? There's... Oh, they got backup? Like, where is this... It's like so hard to even see what's going on here. Final disaster? Oh, he switched. Oh my gosh, there's a giant bird here? <laughs> How are we going to attack this giant bird? Oh, what is this? Are you the person? Like, what's the deal here? It's like the longest battle. Like, what's happening? Okay, so I'm aiming for this little guy. Everyone else is aiming for the gigantic thing. Okay, took care of that guy. This thing is still alive. We have him almost down. This is gonna be a pretty crazy uh, battle here. Later. Hey, we got that super effective Gemini loop on the side there.
Are we done with this guy yet? So level four. I told that was the first time I've ever done such a long. We got two of these things now. We gotta go. No way, we're not gonna win against two of these fools. No way, I'm out, I'm out. We gotta go. Oh, help, Tora! Get him up, get him up! Unbelievable! Oh, right before. <laughs> that was stupid. Where'd these birds come from? Stupid bird. Well, at least we got some uh, affinity rewards, I guess. Like, where are those birds come from? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we're almost at the place where we need to be, right? Another 600 feet or so. We were gonna beat that bird, too. And then we did like a level 4 and I missed all the quick time events? This nah, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, no worries. It's okay, we don't we don't lose anything, right? You gain experience, you gain the weapon points. Oh my gosh! There it is again. I was going to run away, honestly. I'm like, alright, cool, dude, I'm done. We don't need this. Oh, cool. Quests? Oh, great. You're not hurt, are you? Uh, now Poppy and friends here, nothing to worry about. Help, help, if I don't do something, Norman's gonna die. Leave it to us, we'll sort everything out. Star-crossed lovers. Okay. I will beat up these little bird people on the next episode, I think. Unless I'm thrusted into battle. I'm not thrusted into battle. Good. Okay, so here we go. Jumping on in. Let's save our game. We'll call it. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next exciting episode, shall we? All right. Super fun. Man, this game is huge. Those long battles are pretty epic. And they're exciting. And I can't wait to do more of them. I just don't like it when it takes up like half of the episode for one battle and then we lose it. Uh, it's all good. Live and learn, right? So watch our entire playlist here. Check out the newest video on my channel, recommendations. That way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Nintendo Switch content. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.